this summer, I was on the plane and I was flying back home from Greece to the UK. And as we were flying, we were right over London. And at some point, my eye caught the Shard. The Shard is an iconic building in London. It's a skyscraper. It's a, it's a big building. You don't miss it. But up there from that plane, it looked quite small. And it reminded me of all the times I've been right under that skyscraper. It feels humongous. It makes me feel really small. It's 12,500 tons of steel and it's basically 309 meters high. That's about a thousand feet. So when you're under the shot, it makes it's very dominant and it makes you feel really, really small being next to something that big. But then on that day that I was flying back home, I saw the shot from up there and the shot really didn't look that dominating. It looked very, very small. Yes, it was bigger than the rest of the buildings, but it looked very, very small. And this, of course, brought into my mind the idea of perspective and changing perspective. So this episode is clearly about change. It's about understanding perspective and finding out ways to change it. Welcome, my friends, to another episode from Inside Treasures. My name is Phoebus, and I love to challenge myself and those around me for the purpose of growth. This podcast is about helping you to heal, to change, and to grow. As my friend Wayne Dyer said, if you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. Every time I go out windsurfing, I start from the beach and there you can see the umbrellas, you can see the people, you can hear the kids talking, screaming, chatting, laughing, all these things that go on the beach. Everything is there. And then I get on the windsurf and I leave it all behind me and I keep going further out into the sea. But then there comes a point which I decide to turn around. And then I look at the beach and yeah, I can see the beach. I can see the coastline. I can see the trees. I can see a lot of things, but I can no longer hear the people. I can no longer see the people. And that is a sign for me that I'm quite far away. And I'm always fascinating for something that has been so close that we get far away and so it vanishes into the coastline. And everyone, of course, is there, but they're not part of my reality. They're not part of being there for me. There are all these things happening out there, but I'm not aware of them and I cannot perceive them from the vantage point that I'm at because there's a lot of distance and they're far, far away. So what is perspective? Perspective is just how we look at things. It's that we look at things in a particular way. In photography, in visual arts, whether that's animation, drawing or film, all these things, we have the idea of perspective. Perspective has to do with the distance, with the angle, with the space between things. And the light direction can give us a different move and a different perspective. A slight change in perspective can have a big change in the impact of the picture. And also through life, I've realized that a lot of times I had to change my perspective. Sometimes that would happen naturally out of being empathetic and trying to understand the pain that other people are going through. But a lot of times it comes through my own suffering. And when I suffer, I realize that there's some kind of way that I'm looking at things that perhaps I should change it, perhaps I should look at it in a different way, and that helps me move on. Our perspective tends to be logical. It's true for us. It's 100% true. It's very logical the way that it works because logic and thought are mathematical. We make sense by following a series of steps. Now, whether we all agree on those steps is a different story. But if I say now, what we all say, that 1 plus 1 equals 2, then we move into agreement that we all agree. But let's take it a step back. I'm saying that 1 plus 1 equals 2. But for the sake of argument, I'm going to say like from now on, 1 plus 1 equals 3. Now, I know some of you might say, oh, why are you saying that? 1 plus 1 is not equal 3. Stick with me. 1 plus 1 equals 3. If you follow the same sequence and I tell you that 1 plus 1 equals 3, and that's the only way to get to number three, is to add one and one, then you'll reach the same conclusion. Because the value of your truth is based on these mathematical steps, that one plus one equals three. Now, a lot of the arguments arise because we all know that one plus one equals two, and then one person says one plus one equals three. And this doesn't make sense. But it makes sense for that person. And it makes sense for us, because this is again about us how we move through life, how we see things. And we might see things in a skewed way, in a skewed perspective. And that's about more adjusting our perspective. 
I often remember my parents when we were younger and they used to sort of argue about this and about that and were like, but I believe this and I believe that and we should do this. And quite so often, because I had that idea that because I was there, further away from them, I had this third perspective, this spectator look. But what I realized was that they were both right most of the times and they were both wrong. But everyone is right to their own accord. Everyone is following a logical sequence. Now, whether we agree on these things that we are communicating to each other, it's a different story. So our perspective tends to be logical, but what happens when that is causing us pain? This is when we need to start changing our perspective, being aware that this is causing us pain, and finding ways to see things in a different way, take a different attitude, a different perspective. To change perspective is to let go of our ego. We have to drop off all of our ideas of how we're looking at things. Changing perspective is about being willing to create the space to see things a little bit differently than we have been up till now. It's about posing that question and wondering, how else could I see this? How else could I see this? And this, of course, gets closely linked to meaning. But to adapt and create that new meaning about a certain situation we have to be willing first to drop our ego, to drop our ideas about things, to see things just a little bit differently. And that is about creating space, creating space within and allowing a new reality, a new possibility to be true for us now. For this moment, I'm willing to let go of whatever I'm seeing in the way that I'm seeing it and see it in a slightly different angle. That is all we have to know about changing perspective. To be willing to see things in a different way, under a new light. You don't have to keep that perspective. You don't have to adopt it, but you can learn from it so much. If that new perspective works for you, then you can adopt it and you, you can start acting on it and then it becomes more real for you. But again, you just made it up the same way that you made your previous logic up, the previous perspective up. The reason all this changing perspective and adopting new ideas works is because your old perspective collapses, even if it's done momentarily, then a new perspective, a new possibility arises within your own mind. And once you're able to see that new possibility, it makes you more flexible. It makes you say, aha. So it allows you to break the mold and change without taking a lot of effort because we're changing the perspective. We're changing the, th the way that we look at things. Things might have been this way, but they can be different. And then you can see in what ways they can be different. It builds the belief of a possibility that was not there for you before. But now all of a sudden, now that you've been willing to look at things in a different way, challenge that reality with a new perspective, now you get a glimpse of possibility. And you can choose wisely about the stance that you're willing to take, about the meaning that you want to add to any situation, or about yourself. As my friend Anais Nin said, we don't see things as they are, we see them as we are. And this, of course, has to do with the idea that we look at things in a certain way. And when we're willing to change the perspective, it also changes of who we are. And when we change who we are, the things that we look at change. Another powerful element that we can apply in relationships as well is a key to empathy. A key to empathy is being able to take a, to move out of our shoes and get into somebody else's shoes. And that can help us in relationship because we can be more empathetic and more compassionate about what other people are going through. And it doesn't take much effort. All it takes is that willingness to let go of the ego and think for a few moments, how are they looking at reality? In conclusion, we can have big shifts by changing our perspective about things. When you allow yourself to see things differently under a new lens, under a new angle, when we're willing to suspend our current truth, then we can change our perspective. Why am I telling you this? Because when we become more aware of the perspectives that we adopt, of the narratives that we tell ourselves about ourselves and about the world, we realize that that is our perspective. That is the way we see things. And knowing that even if we change them ever so slightly, we can shift our reality immensely. It can have a different impact. And having that in our minds, that always, always be willing to challenge that perspective. It's about taking that step back and trying to look at things more from a third person perspective or a second person perspective. How would X see me? It's not about pleasing other people. It's about challenging the way that we see things, transcending our ego 
shifting things just a little bit so we can have a look in a different angle. As my friend Marcus Aurelius said, everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Perspective affects hugely how we see the world and how we act on it as a result. By changing perspectives, we get a more complete of the truth, but not necessarily the whole truth. I'm here to help you heal, to change, and to grow. If you feel stuck in your perspective or if there's something that resonated with you, something that you need help with, give me a shout at podcast at insidetreasures.com. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and listening to this episode. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and follow. If this content is delivering value to you, if it is meaningful to you, please go to iTunes, go to Stitcher and rate and review this podcast. If you can think of anyone, anyone within your circle that could benefit from this episode, please share this podcast with them. Sharing and reviewing can help build up this community and give as much value as possible to help as many people as we can. Until next time, my friends, let peace guide your life, love guide your heart and reason guide your thoughts.